In this video, we will be conducting A-B testing using Python and SciPy. First of all, I'd like to introduce you to the dataset that we'll be using for this exercise. It is called Audacity, and I've downloaded this from the internet. I'm going to be providing you with a link below so you can download it yourself. So basically, the dataset contains results from an A-B testing between an experimental and control group with action view or click attributed to each user. For the analysis of this data set, we will be using the chi-square test for independence to investigate the relationship between the landing page receive and their corresponding click rate. So our null hypothesis will be that there's no significant relationship between the version of landing page receive by the users and their corresponding click rate in that the two classifications are independent of each other. And our alternate hypothesis will be that there is a significant relationship between the two. We'll be using Python on Jupyter Notebook. And let's first import relevant packages, NumPy and Pandas. And next we'll use read underscore csv to read in our csv file and let's inspect that and so we can clearly see there are four variables as we've seen in the um, excel worksheet just now and let's further inspect the data set using the scrap function and we can see the crucial statistics for the data set and using the info function we can see the data types of all the variables. Okay, so next, what I like to do is to create a new variable, action2, which equals to 1 when the action variable equals to click, and else it will be 0. This means that all the view will be assigned value 0, and all the click will be assigned value 1. Okay, so let's run that and have a look at it. Okay, as we can see here, we have our new variable action2 here with all the um, zeros assigned to view and all and the one assigned to click. Okay, so to conduct the chi-square test for independence, we'll have to build a two by two contingency table and to do that we'll have to use cross tab and, um, and it will be done on the action two variable and the group variable so let's do that and have a look so the table represents the observed frequencies for action uh, view and click for both control and experimental groups um, so with this table we'll then be able to fit in the chi-square contingency function that we'll be importing it from SciPy steps. Okay, so let's um, input into the function. And looking at the output, we can see the um, expected frequency here represented in an array. And this first number represents the chi-square value number. This is the p-value number. and one being the number of degrees of freedom for a 2x2 two two contingency table. So at a 95% significance level, uh, we'll compare this chi-square number to the critical value in the chi-square table. So the alpha will be 0.05 and degrees of freedom of 1. The value is 3.85. So the value that we see here in our output 3.63 is less than 3.84 this means that there's no evidence of a significant relationship between the version of landing page and the click rate and this is further affirmed by the p-value of 0 0.0565 which is greater than 0.05 and um, so we can come to the conclusion that there is no significant relationship between the version of landing page that user sees and the 
corresponding click rate. So this is the end of the video and I'll see you guys next time.